Welcome to your eye assessment in the clinic today. We have a range of tests to perform to see how well your eyes are functioning. So the first test is vision. And as you can see here on the screen in front, we have an object that looks like a C on its back. And also you can see that there's a break in the object here. So your job is to tell me where the brake lies. Is it up, right, left or down? Okay. Just ignore the value here. This is for my purpose only. Okay, so just looking through the right eye. You see the brake at the top. Okay, moving on. Where do you see the brake? down, left, or to the right. Excellent. And the next one. And there. Good. smaller Good. excellent good okay so that's the vision in the right eye done and we're going to check the left now. So I'll cover your right eye and off we go. That's great. Keep going. Excellent. Good. Okay, so we have excellent vision in each eye. Let's move on to the next test. Okay, so next up is your colour vision assessment. We are going to be checking both eyes together. So if I just tap here. And again, you can see a similar object to the vision test. And our job is to match on this side where we see the break in the object. So as we can see there, we're matched up. So let's move on. Okay, so where do you see the break? You can use the analogy of a clock face if you wish. Looking at eleven o'clock. Good. And, uh, and you see the break at five o'clock. Good. Next six o'clock. Good. And how about that? Very well. Twelve. Three o'clock. And what about the seven? Three. Don't look at the seven. Excellent. Uh, don't 
be thrown off by the red herring. Look closely. Good. Now we're increasing the difficulty. Good. To nine. Down to seven again. That's fine. Look closely, please. Close attention. Good. Good. Doing very well. And this one is very tricky. What do you think? Twelve o'clock. Good. And here. Seven. That's fine. Very tricky now, very tricky, but you're going to go for 12, that's fine, and there, uh, good, good, seven, okay, and what's your opinion on this one, three o'clock? See if we're right. Good. Okay, now this one is very tricky. Very tricky. What are you going to go for? You want to try nine o'clock. Okay. Good. And pay very close attention. You're thinking twelve. Okay. Good. You're thinking three o'clock. Uh, take your time, take your time, excellent, and do we think nine, possibly, your answer is nine o'clock, good, and do two o'clock, okay, I will click five, and you're doing very well. Very good. Very okay. Oh, very tricky. Good. And this is where we get to the advanced level. This is the advanced level. Can you see where the break may be on the object? If you see the object. So you're struggling there. That's fine. So the colour vision is good. We've got to a very high level there. Let's move on to the next test. Okay, so your vision was very good when we recorded it at the beginning of the examination. But we're still going to do a very light refraction. So I have this lens holding device and I am going to slot some lenses inside present them to you to see whether the object in front just here is clearer with or without the lens so sit back and relax and just cover your left eye with the palm of your left hand please I will prepare the first lens. stronger lens coming clearer width or clearer 
without. Excellent. And we're just going to reduce the size of the target now. Object center there. Do you feel it's clearer with or without? With or without? Excellent. I'll record that result now. One more lens for the right eye. And I'm just going to reduce the size of the object now. Let's go 0 0.7. And is the object clear with? Slightly clearer with. Excellent. Okay, your job now is to cover your right eye with the palm of the right hand, please. Let's go to a 0.5 sized object. Okay, is the object clearer? Or without the lens, with or without, good. The next lens this is with and without. Good. to show you. Let's take it down a notch. Try a 0.9 sized object. Okay, is the object clearer with or without? That's with. Find the lens to show you with clearer or without. This is with, and that's without. Last time, excellent, thank you. So I'm just going to record those results. I just want to do. One more test while the lenses are out. Okay, so I have a Jackson cross cylinder lens here, an R25 lens. Keep looking at the object in the center of the screen. And I'm 
just let you to tell me if it looks clearer with lens 1 or lens 2. So this is 1. with one, two, all the same. And the next pair is one, or lens two. Good. Okay, cover your other eye for me please. I'm just going to use a slightly stronger pair to cross cylinder. Is the object clear with lens one, two, or the same. That's one, and that's two. Good. Okay, and the next pair. This is one, and this is two. That's one, or lens two. Excellent, thank you. So this concludes the refraction element of your eye examination. Next, we are going to be moving on to ocular health. So to visualize the front and the back layer of the eyes, we are going to be using a small microscopic camera to take some photographs of your eyes. If I could just introduce the small camera it is mounted on this device here this is the camera that will take some photographs of the front and back of the eyes your job is to try and look straight ahead at the screen in front of you while the camera does its work the camera will not touch your eyes and there won't be any flashes of light Okay, so if you're ready, sit back, relax with the two eyes open and just let the camera do its work. So it's just taking a multitude of photographs at a very high rate around the eye. Move to the retinal photographs. Just continue looking straight. Imagine the object or the camera isn't there. As it just photographs the parts of the eye. Good. So, let's go to move across to the other eye now. Just continue to relax. Good. So, it is taking photographs of your lid slashes. Conjunctiva. And through the eye there. Excellent. Well, okay, now just looking up for me, Good. and looking to your left hand side, and to the right hand side. Just looking down to the floor now, looking down to the floor. Excellent. Uh, so I think it's taken all it needs. Our job now will be to look at the retinal photographs. So again, just sit back and relax. So the computer has uploaded your retinal photographs as you can see 
in front of you and the quality is rather good from this new piece of equipment and we're going to have a little look together at the photographs so just using the device here at this area is your macula your central vision area which is rich in photoreceptors known as the cones responsible for fine vision so that is your macula and it's a little bit darker than the rest of the eye because of the pigment the high quantity of pigment found in that part of the eye and we know this is the left eye because the optic nerve located here is to the left of the macula so this is your left eye and just looking closely there doesn't appear to be any hemorrhages within this zone of the eye looking at the veins which are the darker vessels is there, which are draining the eye of blood so the blood will be flowing this way and through the optic nerve there and we have a little cup within the optic nerve the cupping looks approximately 0.4 a little depression there and the optic nerve head appears pink well defined and you just have a little bit of natural pigmentation there a slight crescent otherwise things are looking fairly normal the macular area is clear there doesn't seem to be any swelling any hemorrhages or any drusen macular degeneration looking at the vessels in relation to the arteries that's a very good ratio there doesn't appear to be any tortuosity of the vessels any wiggling they appear to be taking a natural course all through the eye there so the left eye is looking good and the first thing I note with the right eye is just looking within the optic nerve the cupping is just a little bit larger than the cupping in the left so possibly 0 0.45 0 0.5 cupping there but we'd need to perform more tests to check this in more detail and again using the optic nerve on the right of the macula the macula is, is the right eye so the macula is looking clear okay, I can't see any hemorrhaging no drusen no edema Good. and the vessels again okay, taking a fairly normal path no obvious tortuosity nerve is pink defined at a slight crescent just there on that pigmented area just there so the rest of the eye within this field of view is looking clear Please decide that based on the new technology we've used today, your eyes are looking very good. We have good vision, excellent colour vision, and relatively clear looking retinal photographs. So I'd just like to say thank you for being the first patient to try this new advanced technology and it's obviously a work in progress the software 
and the technology is going to improve in order to accomplish more accurate and in-depth information about your eyes. So I will see you at the next appointment. Look after yourself, eat well, don't smoke, and I will see you soon.